Hello everyone, Arvind again here. So today we will discuss about uh, Mirgashira. It's the fifth nakshatra from when you talk take from Ashwini. It is the fixed nakshatra. Its pronunciation when you talk about it is Mirgashira. That is how you have to pronounce it. So I have just written it below for the benefit of everybody. So Mirgashira falls <coughs> the fifth, fifth nakshatra here. It falls here. The fifth nakshatra falls here. Oh, why this is not getting to, uh, this is the first nakshatra so that is from here one two three four and fifth one so it also crosses between two houses just like uh, kirtigai which was crossing between aries and taurus megashira crosses between aries and taurus see this is ruled by mars so expect uh, the lot of it is mass so expect it to be a bit tough agile on the mass characters is what you have to uh, look for uh, look for mass characters in this particular nakshatra so we'll have to see every there are four padas in this so every pada wherever d9 falls that also we'll have to take into consideration when we are reading further so some of the important notes are uh, you have to see to it that uh, <coughs> it relates more uh, it's very, very agile okay uh, it is agile because uh, the first sign when you talk about okay it uh, it will fall on leo d9 will fall on leo so the first path so what will happen is you will find those characteristics uh, to be aligned to this so there will be a shift, uh, there will be very swift, uh, there will be uh, what you call, uh, they will have problems with their uh, wives. It's also the birth sign of uh, Parvati Devi. And uh, very curious, uh, like lion, they will be hunting, they will be searching for food. And uh, that is what you can look at that particular uh, the signs for this nakshatra and they will be very agile like uh, moon has got influence on this so they will be agile like moon so they will be very swift the moment there is a, a problem they will sprint out of that problem and they will go out of it so they will be they always have a bit of suspicion on everything just like deer it keeps on looking out here, there, because it's always afraid of some kind of threat that is going to, because it's probably a meal for one of these tigers, lions, even humans. So it will keep on keeping an eye, it will be suspicious about everything. And uh, it its constellation is in Oriya. Okay, so that is where this, uh, you will see that it will have a, what you call uh, a deer kind of a, when you try to fix up all the stars line it up it look like a deer with antelopes so that's how you can find it out in the sky so the best way to look at the sky is i would say uh, download the app called sky google sky and that will tell you that will show you where it is and that is that's a nice way to learn where stars are and how they look like and how it is represented uh, in astrological terms. <clears throat> so natives who are born are generally independent and uh, very ambitious. They will not leave things, they will pursue things to finish and they are generally quick-witted. Just like deer, uh, how quickly it reacts, that's how they will be. They have a curiosity, uh, they will come and explore things. They are very good in traveling, so their job is related to travel. Some of them are good in uh, accounting, analysis, intelligence. So they are good in uh, innovations, leadership skills, all this you can see in them. Uh, health aspect, they are generally, 
they get into some kind of head injury. Uh, it can come it uh, is generally compatible to Ashwini Nakshatra, Ardra and Punarvasu Nakshatra people. They are very compatible with friends and other things, so they will work very well with them. The uh, falls, uh, as I said, half of it falls in Taurus, half of it in Gemini. So there is uh, a generally a cutting nature of this because it falls in two nakshatras, two, two rasis. Okay, there are some stories associated with it so that that can help us to remember the characteristics of uh, Murugashira nakshatra. The golden deer story that comes in Ramayana where uh, Lakshman puts a uh, called Lakshman Rekha. Ask her not to get out of it when Ram has gone out for hunting. And this is exactly the time when Ravana comes in a different uh, attire with a, which looks like golden deer. And Sita wants it. And uh, she asks Ra- Lakshman to go catch that. And in spite of Lakshman putting a Lakshman rake and saying, don't cross this. Raman makes sure you know, he plays a role in such a way that she crosses the line and he captures and uh, kidnaps her and takes to Lanka. And that's how the entire Ramayana began. So this, there are two things. One is this, uh, the, the, susp- the suspicion character will come from this. So the suspic- she, she becomes suspicious about Lakshman. That after Ram, she wanted to, he wanted to live with her, some, something like that. So, things like that. So, he treats her like a mother. So, the suspicion character is what you can see it here. And uh, because of that one mistake that she, she she didn't believe when she crossed the line, she gets into the Ravana's hand and the Ramayana starts from there. The entire Ramayana is about the Ravana story. So that's, that means it is a transformation. Suddenly there is something. Entire life change, lifestyle changes. That's how you have to pick up. Uh, you have to pick up all these things and then we are playing for the this nakshatra. You have to say. Another uh, story that has Brahma has, decide, has a desire for his own daughter. Okay, that is Mikashira. And she got uh, afraid and uh, she didn't like what his father was doing and she took a form of a deer and uh, she fled into the heavens. And uh, so he, what, uh, but, uh, what he did was he changed himself into a de- male deer and then he started following her. So this is one of the characteristics that you have to look at. Uh, the restlessness of the deer, okay, which is always alert, running, f- afraid of something that is attacking it. So this is the characteristics that you also have to pick up with Mirgashira people. And uh, look at the father following for the girl, for the master, daughter itself. And uh, what would be the situation of the daughter? We're helpless. That's the kind of uh, uh, picture that you should uh, get into when you talk about uh, nakshatram. They are afraid of something because of their experience. So it could be this life or past life, but they that's the experience that they will show, characteristics they will show. There's one more story, Daksha Yakna. So the Prajapati, son of Brahma, Daksha is one of the son of Brahma. So he had, uh, his daughter was named Sati. She was uh, in deeply love with Shiva. She wanted to get married to him. Daksha didn't agree because Shiva was one of those uh, person who never bothered about the materialistic life. He used to be living in the what you call graveyard and smearing around all the ashes of the dead bodies and things like that. So he was not very fond of uh, her daughter getting married to Shiva. So and there were one big yagna that he performs daksha so during that daksha he does not invite shiva but uh, sati goes there and uh, sati he uh, shiva says don't go he will insult you but she says no it is my family they will not insult you so they will go 
so he goes there she goes there to the yagna and she is ill treated by daksha and uh, to take revenge on that what she does is she jumps into the sacrificial fire that is there yagna that was there and uh, she, she is she dies there and shiva comes to know about it and he gets very angry and uh, and he that's how rudra dandam is he dances rudra dandam and from that is what kala is generated okay the kala and when the kala form is generated he go he goes in a rampant killing everybody from that daksha system so in that what happens is uh, he kills uh, so many th- so many uh, rishis gods everything that was there he destroys everything kala so that's how he killed the person yagna and kills the in the and killed him so after the death yaga dear head was established among the star after the death yaga's uh, dear head was established among the stars as mrugashira nakshatra and uh, he became embracement of uh, sorry emblem of sacrifice okay so he became once he becomes emblem of uh, sacrifice yagna performed when moon is in megashesha especially very significantly seen to many many people to bring spiritual rewards so this is one story where you can see that they will be sacrificing themselves for the betterment of this world so that is uh, one point that you should uh, recall sacrifice would be the most uh, important word for this nakshatra so there are some remedies there is one temple called adi narayana perumal temple in ekana tiruvaru so that is the temple where uh, you should go for remedies when you have some ill effects of mrugashira and people who don't have uh, kids generally this what is suggested take sugar cane tie it as hari on it it's called tundil tundil means swing and place some fruits on that and carry it around the, this particular temple uh, like step one of foot you have to keep one foot touching the others and walk across the temple and offer that to the god so this what is done as a remedy and it is said that uh, people get uh, kids after praying to this thing provided mergashira is what is not in a good shape in somebody's chart some more known uh, remedies for uh, mergashira is uh, you worship to lord vishnu shiva murgan they give you a lot of uh, remedies for this particular uh, nakshatra so ma parvati should be worshiped to get rid of problems or shakti is what is called in the other, other uh, terms so color when you talk about you should look at uh, uh, pink red white green light colored clothes to increase the better perspectives for this particular nakshatra uh, it will basically remove reduce the negative effects of this nakshatra so moon worship gives you lots of benefit for this thing so you should probably chant the moon mantra for this dadi sankat dushavaram sirotarna vasham bhavam namami shashnam shamam sambhur magada bhushan that is one of the mantras so you should offer milk and curd no things to poor people rice also anything that is white in color so talisman is basically there is one uh, medicinal plant called jayanti that they wash and they wear it on the neck so that reduces the effect ne- negative effect of mrugashira not everybody has got a negative effect if somebody has got a negative effect that is if it is in the 6 8 12th house mars happens to be there and this nakshatra falls there and uh, you get into trouble then that is where you you try to use all this uh, remedies then again chant uh, the mantra that i mentioned here if possible so i will also put this in the link so that you can read it when you have 
Shivalimba, Shivalinga Abhishekam is another way to do it. Or at least pour water wherever you have, wherever, whenever you find Shivalinga there. You can perform uh, Mangal, Angaraka and Shanti Puja also. If you think uh, that's of, it's of uh, help. I always get into some astrologer or somebody who knows the job properly and get their advice before attempting their place. Sometimes it can give you a negative effect also instead of giving the positive effect. So get some advice from known uh, experts on that and get the job done. So let's move forward from this thing and uh, let's see what it is. Mriga Shera is uh, made from the Sanskrit of Mriga, Mriga is animal. Shira is head, animal head. So, so that's the animal head is what it is. So Mirga Shira is those born in the first pada. And the D9 will fall on Leo. So they will be killers of the fathers. They might kill the father. So they serve the king. They are afraid of family. Always thinking about the next world. So this is how they will be. It falls on the Kalapursha fifth house. So they will be thinking about the next generation and next world. And uh, being a, the fifth house is generally the Leo. So they will try to kill off the parents. Like Just like lion. Lion will, uh, once it wants to get into the herd, it will kill the dominant male there and... Uh, Occupy that territory. Uh, this the, this the first nakshatra also will first path of nakshatra will try to do the dominant male in a kingdom probably the king or the father. So they will try to get rid of them and then either naturally or they will kill them to get this. And that's the kind of picture that you should have. I'm not saying everybody will do that. I'm just saying this is how it will. You should interpret it. So they might be. They might, they might move as soon as the kid is born or the girl is born, the father might go abroad and he, he might not return back for quite some time. So that's also another option. So you have to look at that, okay? Then if he's a very egoistic, okay, because of that lion, ego from the Leo, very passionate about life. And uh, generally they have loans, huge sums of loans, they will take it. They will take uh, work uh, under this thing. They will also write good screenplays. They are very good. They write songs. Poet also they are good in that. So Mrigashira Nachatra second pada when you read, the, this thing will fall on Virgo. So Virgo is Mercury. And uh, Mercury and uh, they go very well here. So they are very pleasant, very neutral. A lot of they're knowledgeable because from New Mercury they come. They try to enjoy their life, and generally they lack kids. <laughs> okay. Progeny uh, without any. They are generally said to have, uh, if at all they have kids. Okay. If at all, if they are married and if they have a kid, and uh, they are, so the kids are supposed to be very daring kind of a kid, maybe male or female kid, they will be daring. So, the communication uh, very humorous, uh, they are quite reserved at times. They have a, fa- a flair for cleanliness, and they generally a bit resources are less for them. They find uh, flaws, uh, they will keep on changing for flaws, correcting it, doing it, and uh, scrutinizing, and then always in progress, always talk about better health. Okay, so the second pada, when it falls, you know, you also say they bit nervous, anxious, so all this, uh, you have to pick up the female character before marriage and uh, those will be, they will be judgmental, they will be a bit anxious, they will be expecting the best and those kind of characteristics also you will have to put when it comes to Murakashira, second nakshatra. When, so when it comes to third pada, it is Libra. So Libra, Saturn gets uh, exalted, so they will be very truthful, they will be hard working, okay, bit unkept, 
intellectual seeking so uh, they are they look at good business partnership diplomatic in many of the areas they are interested in blogging fashion you no know, things like that is what they do because that happens to be liber also happens to be venus's house so that is where you will look at generally they will be more or less stable and that and when it comes to fourth or scorpio uh they are these people will try to get uh, sickly because it's kala purusha's eighth house and uh, seventh when you look from agashiras they think no sixth from agashiras fourth pada and then uh, they will find uh, they are doing lot of interest in occult kind of a thing they will talk about uh, reiki healing you know things like that they'll talk about death uh, near death experience they'll talk about rebirth uh, that's the one that they will try to talk about they are generally interested in astrology and occult uh, things okay and uh, they are generally uh, they'll try to reach uh, people helping people to, by telling something nice about them okay in emergencies all they are they're very good in helping them in that that kind of a situation but they are a kind of uh, they'll, they'll have some secrets also so there are a lot of uh, a bit of selfish character also you can see when the fourth pada falls there so that's how you will see overall migrashira so the remedies that i have said you don't have to take it verbatim it has to be applied uh, saying that say sometimes what happens is remedies we just do it blindly which might not be needed or it might give you a negative effect so you have to see where exactly you have to use that what is your problem and whether it is a mental problem or a physical problem if it is a mental problem you see from the lagna and sorry from the rasi and then you find out the remedy for it if it's a physical problem then you see from the lagna and then you try to fix up that problem so because lagna is different your moon sign is different so you have to depending on that is what you have to find out the remedy for it just don't use the remedy blindly and try to say that no i used this it didn't work it might not work that is why you should know for what purpose you want the remedy so this are all general remedy that are prescribed in the books and we have known that is what i have said so use it with discretion and with knowledge about why you are doing that okay thank you have a good day let's meet after one or two days on aradhana nakshatra thank you hope it was useful to you